Hello everybody and uh, welcome to uh, another video um, of course and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, some of the photos that I took with uh, my Mamiya ZE um, 35mm camera that I obviously did a review on and these are uh, the first uh, around 22, 21, 21 or 22 scans that I did of the photos that I took. So right here, you just have a simple shot. Um, it was really funny because uh, right here there was another photographer with a digital camera actually taking pictures of these two people um, who are friends, and that's like another one of our friends. And I just thought it'd be funny to take a picture of them, uh, you know, getting their picture taken by their friend. So moving on, um, we have this picture. Um, which is obviously just another simple picture, <coughs> and um, you know, you just have this guy walking here. This is really, I almost consider this a test roll, uh, sort of, because it was shot on like Kodak 200 ISO, um, and of course now uh, you can hear me kind of moving it around, but um, I've started to purchase uh, Ilford. Film and um, yeah, but I really like how this role turned out because um, you get a lot of the grain like down here when there's lots of blacks, not a lot when there's whites, but when there's a lot of dark colors and shading, you can see kind of where the dust is on the photos, and I think that's pretty cool because I don't necessarily like perfect photos. Now we're gonna move on. So now moving on, um, if you ever watched Man vs. Food, this is where uh, the big ugly burger, the big ugly uh, burger challenge is, this is Bubs, and um, right here you have this uh, place to uh, put your bikes in, uh, there's also like a filling station or something, um, but yeah, it's supposed to look like a car and stuff. But yeah, so as you can see, you know, I just got a picture of these two people walking there, um, you know, there's a nice angles for the streets crossing and everything and uh, I don't really know what that is down there but um, I, I kinda like how it invades the picture so this is the um, photographer and her friends uh, walking down the street um, and I thought I'd I thought it'd be funny or like ironic that I'd take a picture of them as they're walking down the street and she's holding her camera and stuff so I did it and um if you watch my previous video you'll see that that's there's a picture coming up of this guy uh the statue of course so right here um just another shot that I took um I like taking a lot of just candid photos where people don't really know that they're being that their photos are being taken but also so that they get captured in an everyday sense this is probably the funniest picture that I took <clears throat> just because of the way that the little girl is walking and you know her dad is walking normally so because when I took this she was just starting to do that and so it's a little funny seeing her almost kind of running like that and then he's just still like walking normally <coughs> um, this is just an old man that I took a picture of and if you uh, look uh, in more pictures you'll see that uh, light posts or you know light poles will be a reoccurring thing that keeps on coming back um, this is a picture of a girl that uh, is actually just waiting for her friends, but it kind of looks a little sad, almost, um, especially with the uh, mask in the background that you can see that's kind of hiding behind this pole here. Um, but it was, I, I really like this picture just because you can see a lot of the graininess in it, and you can kind of see every little minor detail pretty much in it. 
Um, here's just a group of people walking down. There's a, there was a lot of traffic at this point, and uh, I thought it looked really cool to uh, kind of have almost this crowded, um, you know, area with the only like non-crowded part being this section up here. Um, and of course, this is a statue from another one of the pictures that I took in this roll. So moving on here, we have this uh, slightly blurry picture of um, two people walking in, uh, this couple walking into a uh, restaurant, and um, I like how there's a lot of graininess on the street, and there's blurs from the cars and you know that are moving, and the trees, the tree branches and whatnot, and just them in general, they're kind of very blurry, and I really like that. Um, this is just a shot of one of the streets in uh, downtown Carmel. Um, I don't necessarily know what this is. The photo came back like this, um, but I think it adds kind of characteristic almost since it's by the uh, barbershop pole. But it doesn't bother me that this shot was um, a little botched up. And so now moving on here. Um, is to some of the uh, more close-up shots that I took during this roll. Um, this is outside of a uh, sweets shop, um, and I actually have a uh, portrait of the only worker that was in there at the time, but I haven't scanned it yet. And I don't know if I will. Um, got another sign that's right outside this place, and it's a really nice place, and I've been in there before. Um, and of course, you can get a root beer float and stuff like that. <coughs> here of course is one of my favorite pictures which is of uh, the statue just sitting there and it's one reading the newspaper um, I really like all the graininess that you can see especially with the bricks and in the glass and even on the man himself uh, they really did a good job with um, making the art district look old timey I guess you could say Here's another uh, shot from around the corner of where that man was. Of uh, it's by the Monon, and uh, it's a statue of this father uh, letting his girl go as she is learning to ride her bike, and um, it looks really sweet. And the clothing all looks realistic, but it's just all metal. At least I'm fairly sure it is. I haven't really caught up and touched them, but. Um, I just like the graininess because even though they're statues, it kind of makes it look like, um, you know, a family home photo in a sense. Um, here you just have another couple, uh, you know, walking by. Um, of course, down on West Main Street because it says that up here. But, um, yeah, I really like this photo just because they didn't know that I was taking their picture and they were caught up in what they were doing so it was very uh, candid. This is another one of my favorite photos that I took of uh, this married couple walking down into the same restaurant that that, um, that the uh, first couple that was walking into the same restaurant. This is around the same area. Um, I really like it just because you get the apartment buildings in the background and the houses in the background too. You get the uh, light pole slightly getting smaller, um, and you just get this great sense of line going down it and everything. And then there in the photo, kind of in the rule of third spot, and so that's why I really like this photo. <coughs> Here's another photo of a statue that kind of reminds me of almost a, uh, a homish type, uh, you know photo or still shot from a video um, again you can really see the graininess all over the picture and I really like that um, because I just really like things I really like the little imperfections and things and uh, stuff like that this is one of my this is probably my favorite shot actually of uh, the silhouette of this statue where you can see all the graininess and I went over this in my previous video and if you've watched that you'll realize that um, 
This is one of my favorite photos that I've probably actually ever taken. And here you just have a uh, man with his dog. It was a really sweet moment and stuff. Um, he wasn't like actually being mean to the dog or anything. He was actually just really sweet to the dog, and I really encourage that if you're like a dog owner and stuff. Uh, here you have, uh, of course, the man sitting there, and um, this couple just walking around, and um, they really enjoy taking this picture because everything is slightly out of focus, but it's also almost in focus at the same point. Like, nothing really is in focus, but some parts are, and I really like that. And so that's why I really like this picture, too. And, of course, you just have a, this solemn moment. I kind of took it as more of a, um, almost like a concept picture, because you have the uh, car blurring on the right, um, and the other car sitting there on the left. And then you have the statue and the man actually sitting there, um, across from the statue and he's just all kind of alone and he was just sitting there he sat there for maybe about 10 to 20 minutes I think uh, the whole time I was there he was pretty much there too um, so I thought I would take that picture and uh, it turned out really great and then now we're back to uh, that first picture there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as you can see I've just been sitting here in Lightroom but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot because I really enjoyed making this video for you even though I stayed home today because I was sick and I have not eaten anything. But I'm working on it and um, I hope to have this video up soon after I record it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and I will see you guys later and goodbye.